Hi ladies. So um, today I wanted to talk to you guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I have something in my throat. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what's been going on with me and my thyroid issues. Um, so I'll just go ahead and start from the beginning and then kind of work my way to the present. Um, so if you haven't been following, I have been trying to conceive a baby for over two years um, with no luck. I really was thinking that it was uh, Mirena. <clears throat> Sorry. I had Mirena put in, and then a year, year, year and a half later, I had it taken out and then tried to conceive for two years with no luck. So I really, really thought it was the Mirena. Um, after some more further investigating, um, we found out that I have hypothyroidism. Um, when we found out, it was about two months ago, uh, my levels were at a 3.5. Um, at 3.5, my doctor had put me on 25 micrograms of level thyroxine and told me to take it for a month. Um, after about two weeks, I was having some pretty uh, wicked side effects. I was itching, I was bruising, I was swelling, um, you know, things like that. So they put in um, another order for me to have my blood drawn again, and my levels were at a 3.3, and they were also thinking that maybe I had an allergic reaction to the red dye. So um, they upped my dosage to 50 micrograms of the level thyroxine, and that was it. I went on vacation for about a month and a half, which I just returned from. And um, while I was gone, I knew I was going to have to, you know, get tested again because you have to keep getting tested when you're on medication for your thyroid to make sure that your levels, you know, are okay, that you're on the right dosage, that you know, everything stays pretty much stable. So I went in, um, I, I called my doctor to put in the order uh, for me to get my blood drawn where I was at. And then um, I waited a couple of days and then I called my doctor's office and was just really super curious how my levels were doing. Um, I was feeling really good on the 50 micrograms. Um, but probably like a week before I went and got my blood testing done, I started having really bad headaches again, and I was starting to get tired again. And I was like, man, this, this has got to be working. Like, I, I don't want it to not be working. So that's when I, you know, I called my doctor and had him put in the order for it or whatever. I knew it was time to go get tested, thinking that my, my levels wouldn't have improved very much. Um... <clears throat> So I got a phone call back from my doctor, and she had said that my levels were very low. And um, so for those of you who don't know, like if you have a higher level of TSH, you have a underactive thyroid. And if you have a low level of TSH, then you have an overactive thyroid. See what I'm saying? Um... So, yeah, so I started out at a 3.5, went down to a 3.3. Six weeks later, I was at a 0 0.45. So you turn hyperthyroid at 0 0.3, I think. So I was like a point, 0 0.1 point away from turning hyperthyroid. So um, she had told me that I got excited at first because I thought it was a good thing because we were trying to get me down around a 1.0. And they think that's why I'm not conceiving baby number two is because of my thyroid. So they wanted me down around a one. So I got really excited when she first told me and she was like, no, that's bad. And she was like, you know, we're, the doctor's afraid of your thyroid shutting down. So I went and got another blood draw and this time they were testing my antibodies and they were checking to see if I had like an autoimmune hypothyroidism, which is what's a lot of women in my ha in my family have. Like, I just found out since I was diagnosed that my great grandmother, this is all my mother's side, but my great grandmother had goiter. My mother has goiter. 
Two of my mother's sisters have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, which is the autoimmune hypothyroidism. And my mom's niece, which would be my cousin, has Hashimoto's also. So um, it runs pretty thick in my family, apparently, and I never even knew it existed. So um, I joined a really awesome group on Facebook. It's called... Um, Thyroid sexy. So if any of you out there either have a thyroid condition, whether it's Hashimoto's or Graves, or if you just have hyper or hypo, anything like that, you really should find them because it is an amazing website or, you know, it's like a group. And it's awesome because there's so many people who can help you on there, like despite their experiences. And I, I'm the kind of person, like, I really like to talk to people who kind of have been there, done that, and not like from the doctors, from the textbooks. Like, I'm sorry, but that doesn't, it's not comforting to me. Um, like, and I just found out through that group that I solely, they solely should not be just testing my TSH level. They need to be checking my free T3 and T4 and all these other things that I didn't even know. So I have to get, needless to say, after the antibody test came back good, which it came back good, um, she decreased my medicine from 50 back to 25 um, and told me in four weeks to get another blood draw. That's where I'm at. Um, I am a little nervous because my heart has been racing a lot lately. And um, so, yeah, that makes me kind of nervous because um, that's, like, associated with a low low level, which means you have like an overactive thyroid, which I mean, I don't, it's not like I'm losing mass amounts of weight. My weight is fluctuating. I did lose like 10 pounds in three days, but my body's like, it keeps going up and down. And up and down. I don't know. I just need to get this stupid thyroid thing under control and figure out what is going on because I feel like if I never can get this thyroid under control, I'm never going to ever be able to conceive baby number two. And, um, you know, I know that once you get pregnant, like, it messes with your levels even more. So, anywho, when I go into my doctor in a couple weeks, it should be about two weeks, I'm probably going to call her here soon, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get a referral to an endocrinologist and go from there. Um, right now, I'm currently being treated by an OBGYN, and, I mean, she's the one that found out what was going on, so, I mean... That's who's been treating me. Um, but every time there's a problem, she calls an endocrinologist. So I might as well just cut out the middleman, right? Um, other than that, that's kind of where I'm at with my thyroid. Um, yeah. So I guess more updates on that soon. I don't, I don't know. Um, thank you guys for all of your support. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm really going to try to make these videos all along my journey. I mean, my channel is kind of scattered, if you guys haven't noticed. Like, it goes from beauty to product reviews to hypothyroidism to trying to conceive to tags and whatever. It's just like a whole cluster of fun stuff here. So, but anyways, I'm really going to try to document where I'm at, new things I found out um, with my thyroid, and try to give you guys as much information as I have um, because I pretty much Google and research everything on my own because I don't get very much information from my doctor. So, anywho, if you guys have any advice or any words of wisdom or any encouragement that you may have, if, if you've been in the same position as me with your thyroid, um, please comment below and I will get back to you. I try to answer everyone. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.